Hey folks, Alan Manic the Hot Rod Hippie here. This week's video was going to be about overlapping panels versus butt welding panels. And it kind of went into a rant where I felt like I needed to put a disclaimer in the video and now that whole video is this video right here. So this is an important topic I think we really need to discuss and that is can't means won't. What's that mean? Let's check it out. This is a very important topic and I'm bringing it up for a specific reason related to you, related to this channel right here, right now. I get these comments far too often that say things along the lines of, well that's all well and good for a professional, but for somebody working in their home shop, this doesn't make sense. These are too advanced techniques, those tools are too expensive and fancy for me working in my home garage. This doesn't apply to me. You're wrong. That's all there is to it. So what the heck does can't mean won't mean? It's something my dad used to say to me a lot, can't means won't. When I would get really frustrated with something, when I would approach something and say, I can't do this, he would throw that at me and did I hate it. I'm sure I'm not alone in having something that a parent used to throw at you that you really hated and it was really grating on you at the time, but it's still stuck in your head today as an adult and it really applies to you. And man, is it frustrating, but it's in your head and it made you a better person in the end, really. All the techniques that I show you, that I try to teach to you folks are things that you can do. I think you are capable of it. I believe in you. You can do it. What you need to do is simply invest the time into it, really. So I showed you a video recently how to shape metal with a claw hammer. You can do it if you put your mind to it and you practice, you figure out techniques. You gotta find what works for you. That is what can't means won't is for me. It is something that I think about when I'm approaching a project and say, I can't do this, or I'm getting frustrated and mad and upset and I need to step back and take a breather. I think can't means won't. And I figure out how I can do it. And that's what it's about. Take the time, practice, give it a try. I always say that in my technique videos. Practice, practice, practice. It makes perfect. Nobody did anything perfectly the first time out. They had to practice it. They had to try it. First time I hammer formed something, it turned out terrible. I had to make a handful of scrap pieces before I figured out even one that I was okay with. Now my technique for doing it is much faster, it is much more fair to the customer, it gets a better finished product. I've learned from my mistakes and from my time. I put in the time and I learned it. You can do it too. Alright folks, I hope you found this video interesting. I know I kind of went off on a tangent here, I'm kind of talking too fast, kind of losing my voice a little bit. This is not like my usual content, but I've been saying that so much lately. What is my usual content anymore? I don't even know. This is just such a topic that I felt like I needed to discuss. I had to bring this up with you folks. You liked the failure video before, so I thought I would go ahead and do this one. I'm talking too much like a motivational speaker. I'm only a 30-something heavily tattooed guy who doesn't really know if he has his life together. Whatever. Thanks for coming around, folks. If you found this interesting, leave it a like down below. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this topic? What do you think of can't means won't? Will it apply? to you. Is this something you are going to think about in the future? Please let me know. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date with content every week. Thanks for coming around, folks.